Jack Dewsbury and Michael Hale were part of a team of doctors and nurses who in April last year spent nearly two hours trying to revive Ashwarya in a resuscitation bay. They've told the coronial inquest they did everything they possibly could to save her. Dr Hale said he was proud to be part of the team, adding it was a collaborative effort that was emotionally driven. Everyone threw absolutely everything they had to keep Ashwarya alive, he said. I was devastated when we weren't able to do that. The inquest has heard that short staffing and heavy workloads meant in the hours before, as Ashwarya and her parents waited to be seen, the child's condition was not closely monitored. But since her death, staff numbers had almost doubled and now there were three dedicated waiting room nurses whose sole role was to observe patients. It's something Dr Dewsbury described as a significant change. The doctors testifying today have stated that if uh, the staff had been given time to adequately assess, treat and then monitor their treatment of patients, then there'd be better outcomes in the department. Well, again, it's an ongoing inquiry, but certainly the um, statements of the Premier April last year suggesting that the emergency department was actually um, overstaffed were clearly and patently wrong. In response, the Premier said his previous comments were based on information provided to him by the Health Department, that staffing levels were not below roster. Joanna Menard, ABC News.